As of version 5.1 and above, VideoEdge has configurable digital input-output functionality, a watershed addition which dramatically expands the reach and power of the VideoEdge NVR, including in conjunction with its relevantly enabled cameras. With the advent of this capability, users are empowered to utilise the inputs and outputs on the two types of digital input-output interface which support this feature. The first of those are those located on the back of the VideoEdge hybrid NVRs, originally or alternatively envisaged for analog cameras, and the second are those located on supported Illustra API 3 cameras. The digital inputs on the interfaces can be wired to devices which, when triggered, generate alerts on the NVR. Moreover, the outputs can be wired to a relay in order to trigger an external device, such as a door magneto, a light or a buzzer, to activate or deactivate. Pulse functionality is also available. Any such external device so connected can also be triggered or pulsed from American Dynamics Victor Client, version 5.1 and above. Digital inputs and outputs are easily configured from the VideoEdge interface by selecting Devices, Alarms, and then the Outputs tab. Click the plus icon to add a new output. Each input-output of a device has a corresponding numerical relay index. The supported Illustra cameras each have a single input-output, so there is just one relay index available. However, the hybrid NVR itself has 16 available relay indices, as we can see here. After choosing the output and the associated relay, the output can be named. And if it may be applicable, a pulse time in seconds can also be specified. Note that this must be an integer value. Pulse means a continuous toggle of state and the pulse value indicates the time in seconds between such toggles. The inputs and outputs can also be triggered from this page, for example for confirmation of configuration in initial setup. However, the power and possibilities of the feature are most clearly seen in Victor Client. Any digital outputs configured in a VideoEdge recorder, whether from the analog inputs on the back of a hybrid NVR or a supported Illustra camera, will show as an input-output logo in the Victor device list. Here we can see the outputs configured and named previously in the NVR. For demonstration purposes, each of these outputs has been connected to an LED. We will open a camera which is unconnected to the setup, but which has the aforementioned LEDs in its field of view. The LED at the top left is connected to one of the configured analog outputs at the back of the NVR and the LED at the bottom is connected to a supported API 3 Illustra camera, which also happens to be in shot. Right-clicking on the analog output icon gives a context menu with various options, and from which the output can be activated, deactivated, or pulsed. Keep an eye on the upper LED as we activate the output. The LED illuminates. Likewise, deactivating turns off the LED. We can do exactly the same for the other output, which has exactly the same type of icon and same functionality. In this case, we'll also pulse it. Note that while these outputs are connected to LEDs for demonstration purposes, an output triggered the same way from within Victor Client could have lifted a barrier, opened a door, sounded an alarm, and so on. With digital input-output in American Dynamics Video Edge and Victor, full power is back in the hands and the imagination of the user. There are some things to note regarding this feature. Relay index values are fixed according to the input-output device connected. For direct Video Edge input-output connection, a hybrid NVR is required. Specific Illustra cameras with particular firmware versions support Video Edge outputs, as shown here. That's the digital input output support for VideoEdge and Victor 5.1. Thank you for watching.